We have submitted to the World Architectural Festival several projects. We have this year submitted three and two years ago we had submitted two projects and one of them won an award, the, the Unilever building, which is a high energy efficient, highly energy efficient building and the Marco Polo Tower, which was a high-end uh, uh, high residential tower, both in the harbor of uh, Hamburg. It is not easy to submit projects to the, to the, for these awards. First of all, you have to find out, does, does it stand a chance? Does it make sense? Is there any new aspect on this building, any special aspect on the, in these buildings? And, and then you have to prepare the right material. But in the end, it's, it's quite interesting and also rewarding not only because of the award if you win it <laughs> and the chances are usually pretty slim <laughs> but it's also about being at this event and meeting people talking to people and seeing what other people did and do i mean who, who submitted who won the award and so on it's a quite interesting thing to do to prepare for the award as I said, you have to choose very careful. And if you're not convinced yourself that that's the right building, don't submit. I've been judged myself quite often in the, in the past when it was in Barcelona the first two times. So I know the game from the other side of the table. But presenting in this very limited time span you have, needs a lot of focus and it needs a, a, actually a conviction that you are really sure what your building is about, what's the strength of the building, what's the difference to other projects. Because in 10 minutes you can't tell the world everything. You have to focus on the major unique elements in this project which you or where at least you think these projects are unique. There's no point in telling the judges that your project is the best of all, because first of all, it's hardly true. It's always a matter of perspective. And second of all, yeah, you might be convinced, but you have to convince the judges. And it's the judge's role to judge, as the name says. So. It's less, I, I would say it's not a matter of selling. Some people, when you are there in a judge, they try selling hard, which is almost annoying. It's more about convincing that you are convinced this is, at the moment, the best you were able to do, and therefore you have chosen this project. It's a very subjective thing. It's your baby, you have to be convinced, and you have to explain that. I'm, I'm never entirely sure if we get, when we get an award, why this building got an award. I always am sure that it's rightly so, yeah? <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have submitted. But it's, it's often that a project, it's often that a project meets the tone of the time, that a project by incident is it's the right project at the right time and there's nothing you really you can do about because usually a project you submit to an award and present is a five-year-old idea yeah? or four-year-old idea unless you go for the unbuilt project so it's very important that you were lucky and met the right spot in time that's very important and then um, often it's also that it's well presented but I think judges are more intelligent than being sold on a well presented project the project itself has to have substance me personally very satisfying it's sort of a yeah the feeling you did something right 
Business-wise, it's always good to have an award and such an important award is also very good. But mainly, to be honest, mainly I, I couldn't pinpoint it down and say I got this commission because I won that award. But it's, it's even more satisfying to the clients, this award than to the architects. Because usually, if you have an institutional client or whatever, they build one big building in their career. We as architects do several. So we have the chance of several awards. They have only the chance of this one award. So for them, it's a great thing. And, and usually a justification of what they have done or not justification not being the right word, but sort of it proves for them we have done something right here. And for us as well. So it is a good thing. It is also career-wise a good thing. But it's not that you could say, okay, you get, win five awards, you get another commission. This rule doesn't exist. I think it's an interesting spot, Singapore. And I, I kind of like the idea that the WOF should keep traveling to be interesting to different places, because then we would visit these different places and see these different places. So it's, it's a mix of this award thing, it's a, of lectures, of meeting friends, colleagues, seeing new places, experiencing new places, and having very interesting discussions about architecture. So I always like it, and this year also I think it's, it's a very interesting experience.